watching Over the Edge from Event Horizon with John Michael Godier. And we're back with Dr. Paul Matt Sutter. What led Einstein to formulate that? What were his predecessors? Um, what? How did this theory come into his mind? Right. So. One of the wonderful things we have about the development of general relativity is we have Einstein's journals and we have his letters and we have his draft papers. It took him seven years, seven years to arrive at general relativity. And we can see the train of thought play out in Einstein's head. And he had a few predecessors. Now, this he, would have, just for context, this would have been the first decade of the 20th century that he was formulating this? Or yes, yeah, so he right had developed then? special relativity in 1905, and then it was another seven years before GR came on the scene. Now, does this, this reaches back to Maxwell, right? Yeah, exactly. So he looked at what Maxwell had done, and that was a big antecedent to special relativity. And... He had access to some mathematician friends who were telling him about some cool mathematics that were developed and then forgotten in the mid 1800s. This thing about curved surfaces, which, you know, might or might not be useful. And he was looking at some very fundamental questions that that Newton was asking. Because Newton was the first person to formulate a universal theory of gravity, an idea that gravity operates all across the universe, that the exact same force that pulls an apple from a tree is the exact same force that keeps the planets in orbit around the sun. That was an absolutely revolutionary thought. That was the first time that someone had proposed a physical universal theory. But Newton had developed his, you know, Newton's laws and mutual attraction of gravity, but he had no idea what caused them, how they originate, he why they knew, have. He just knew how, how it worked, essentially. He just knew how it worked based on observations. Exactly. And Einstein was driven to, to provide an explanation for Newton's observations. But Newton himself, you could make this case that I was I mentioned earlier that general relativity comes out of nowhere and seems like a, a theory of the future. But isn't also Einstein, you know, uh, Newton also a, a similar case to that? I mean, were there other scientists that were close to understanding how gravity worked at the time when he was uh, when he wrote Principia? Because I know that you know they say that he essentially invented um, an entirely new way to look at mathematics just to work on this theory so who else was working at that time was anyone anywhere close to newton newton is a very very interesting case i feel comfortable saying that if newton had never come along we would still end up with universal gravity maybe i'm wrong on that but Eventually, it might have taken another half century or century before we got there. But the mathematics that Newton developed, the mathematics of the calculus, was also developed by Leibniz uh, almost essentially simultaneously. So the infrastructure was there in the intelligent circles of Europe. The concept of gravity reducing as one over the distance squared was already being bounced around by Halley and by Hook and others of Newton's contemporaries. The Royal Society, essentially. The Royal <laughs> Drinking Society, of course. And, but they didn't have Newton's action at a distance or they didn't have force equals mass times acceleration they didn't have equal and opposite force they didn't have a body in motion will tend to stay in motion they newton was really responsible for those very fundamental conceptions so we may have ended up with a theory of gravity that we may not have realized at least for a very long time connected to a theory of motion which was Newton's big insight. Right, which it's still to this day good enough to 
go to the moon or Mars or something like that. These laws of motion. I'll take it. Good old Newton. Yeah, but Einstein essentially saw that in certain cases, Newton wasn't quite right. It doesn't quite predict things like, for example, time dilation. Um, as I recall, Newton thought that time was the exact same everywhere in the universe, which is not the case. So um, Einstein's working on an, on top of Newton. Einstein's like, well, no, that's in, time is relative. It's relative to frames of reference. That was a bit of material that went over the edge. A bonus clip from a full episode of Event Horizon. New episodes every Thursday. So do be sure to hit subscribe. The full episode should be on your screen right about now.